Okay, this video is going to show you how to make a calendar month template in InDesign. So I'm going to start by making a folder, and I want to call it this exactly with my name. So I'm going to copy that, and I need to go over to my folder. Let's say I have one over in period four. And I'm going to make a new folder in here. I'll paste that, and I want to call it calendar poster and my name. Whoops. Notice calendar is spelled with an AR, not ER. It sounds like ER, but it's calendar with an AR. Okay. So next, I want to make a file in InDesign. I'm going to call it that exactly. Everything I do for this project is going to go into that folder. So it's called month template with my last name, first name. So I'm going to go to InDesign. Just find InDesign on my computer. <clears throat> if I make a new file, none of these are going to work. I have to make it 10 by 10 inches or 60 by 60 picas. Okay, if I go to inches, I can work in inches. I'm going to make it 10 by 10. And the margins are going to be 1 half inch. Same as three picas. So if I go to picas, see there are three, because there's six picas to an inch. That's why it's 60 picas, so six times 10. So if I'm working in inches, that's what we have. So I'm going to hit create, and here's my file. I want to go to file, save as, before I keep going, so I don't lose anything. I'm going to go back over to my period four folder. I'm working on a period four right now. And then here's my calendar poster hey. folder. And I'm going to call it month template with my last name, first name. Hit save. Okay. Next, I want to make it seven columns by six rows. Okay. I have notes here too. You're going to use the guides. I want to use guides to create these. Okay. So seven columns by six rows. Okay. To do that. I'm going to go over to Layout, Create Guides. Do not use margins and columns. Go to Create Guides. All right, I'm going to make sure my preview is turned on. And I'm going to leave it on page for now to show you what will happen if you don't make it margins. But I want it to be six rows and seven columns. Now, I can see the lines because my preview is turned on. OK. So if I leave it on page, it's going to go to the whole page. It's going to be way up in here. I don't want these corners to be included. So I want to switch it over to margins. OK, so that makes better sense. All right. If you make a mistake, put it on page and hit OK. Then you're stuck with these. Well, you can go to layout, create guides, re remove the existing ones, and start again. This time I want to go on margins. I want to have it six rows and seven columns. But I want the gutter to be zero. Notice the space between each of these you know, lines in here. I want the gutter to be zero. Bring that down to zero. So you see how there's nothing between them now. And this gutter for the columns is going to be to zero also. Made okay. All right. Next, I want to put the word month up here. So I'm going to get the text tool. Click and drag a text box. Put the word month. Control A will highlight it. Control Shift C puts it in the middle. I want to choose another font other than Minion Pro. Do not choose Minion Pro. Um, well, to choose Minion Pro means you didn't choose anything. That's the default. So choose something other than Minion Pro. Make it something readable. Don't choose something that you can't read very well, like this Abigail. I can't read it. Choose something that you can read from afar, okay, on the wall, on a poster. Choose something clean, something nice. I'm going to choose that one, Zurich. All right, and then I'm going to make it bigger. But first, I'm going to place it. I'm going to put this box, this corner right here, I'm going to put in that corner. So I'm going to grab it and put it right there. Like that. I'm going to take this one, bring it over to that side. I'm going to bring this one up right there. I'm going to highlight month. I can hit the up arrow to make it pretty big. So other ways you can get bigger, but I'll just do it like this. Now, I need to consider later, when I have the word September in here, that it'll fit. So I'll put September here and put that as almost the biggest possible one, about like that. That's good. Okay, and then because I got to consider other months too, including May, June, July, the shorter ones, but the longest ones have to fit in there. I'm going to put the word month back in there. 
Leave that alone. Okay. Let me hit the black arrow button. It's highlighted with the arrow button. Notice not with the text tool, but with the arrow button it's highlighted now. I'm going to go to Object, Text Frame Options. I want to push the top down a little bit. So I'm going to make sure my preview is turned on. I'm going to make sure this lock symbol has a do not through it because I only want the top to be affected. I'm going to hit the top, push it down to about the middle. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. Next, I need to put numbers in here. So I'm going to go to the text tool, drag a text frame, I'm going to put 99. Use 99 for everything. Control A, highlight it, Control Shift C, put it to the middle. I'm going to change my font. I like to use the same one as my month title. You can use a different one if you want to, and make sure it makes sense. Make sure it looks good, something readable. Okay, so there's that one. And then I want to make it bigger. First, I want to place it. Notice I'm not grabbing on handles and all that. I'm going to put that like right there. I'm going to take this handle here. Put it in that corner so it's all it's in there just right. I'm gonna highlight that, I'm gonna make it bigger. Don't make it so big that it's all the way at the edges, but uh, pretty big. Like that. Because you'll be changing this number to other numbers. Alright. Next, the black arrow button, the frame is highlighted with the arrow button. I'm gonna push it down from the top. Object, text frame options, same settings as before. Previews on, do not here. I just want to use the top, push it down. Just higher than center on that one. Okay. Then I'm gonna hit OK. Next, I want to put 99 in all of these cells. Instead of doing what I just did with the top down and all that, I want to just copy and paste this one. So I'm going to control C, control V. And then I'm going to highlight these two. Copy, paste. The copy, paste is control C, control V. Do that again. I need three more. Copy, paste. Put that over here. Now I need to copy all these. Paste. Put this in position. I can get all these, copy paste, put these in position. And I just need one more row. Copy paste, put this in position. And there's my calendar. It's ready to go. At this point, I'm going to go to File, Save one more time. Because notice, there's a little star right here, a little asterisk right here. It means there's stuff that's been done to this that needs to be saved again. I'm going to go to File, Save, just save it again. I'm going to go to File, Export, Export, PDF for Print. It's going into the same folder I'm working out of. It's all good. It's the same name. I'm going to make a PDF out of it. Save that. Export, because it's on high quality print. Export it. It's good to go. I'm going to turn this, turn this um, file and the exported PDF into Google Classroom for credit. And that's how you make this um, month template. Ask me if you have any questions.